Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on graphical inequalities. There's going to be a couple of videos on this topic in total. Here we're just going to look at drawing graphical inequalities in this first video. So this is a very useful way of representing an inequality expression. Uh, but before we get into it, we're just going to have to go through uh, how we represent each of the symbols on the graph. So uh, if we have an inclusive inequality, such as less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, uh, we represent these with a solid line. Uh, like so and then if we have a strict inequality so less than or greater than these are dashed lines uh, when we draw them on the graph so they'll look like this so looking at this example here we have to shade the area that satisfies the inequality y plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2x and we have to mark it with the letter a so let's just rewrap this up here y plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2x now we just treat this inequality symbol as an equal sign and we're going to rearrange this to make y the subject so all we have to do is subtract 1 from both sides. This is going to give us y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 1 and now this is similar to the form y equals mx plus c except the equal sign is the inequality sign. So as this is a strict, sorry an inclusive inequality we're going to use a solid line here and we're just going to draw the line y is 2x minus 1. So this means it has a gradient of 2 and it crosses the y-axis at minus one, so let's mark that on here. Gradient of two means that for every one square it goes across, it goes two squares up. So we need to draw that line on the graph. So it should look something like this. Now the final thing to do is to shade the area that satisfies the inequality. So as this is a greater than inequality, we need to shade the area above the line. Uh, so that's gonna be this area here. Now if you're in an exam, shade this area with a pencil and just mark it with a capital A as it says to do in the question. If you're feeling good about this topic and you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So it's a really good way of finding out where you're going wrong and how you can improve in time for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.